Hey, Ayende and Solash. It's so nice to see you guys. Um, I had such a fun time last week going to your houses to drop off our foundations bags. So I'm really excited to see you guys. Show me what you can do on your tile boards and in your notebooks and to see you on Thursday at our very first Zoom meeting at 11 o'clock. Let's get started with this lesson. Ready? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? So let's do a quick check-in to check in on each of you before we jump into our foundations lesson, just like we always do, and see how are you each feeling today? Let's get to the very beginning of our lesson. How are you feeling? What zone are you in today? Awesome, I'm in the green zone today. I am feeling really happy and focused and ready to learn. I hope you said you were in the green zone. You can send me a message on Class Dojo telling me how you were feeling when we were doing this lesson today, what zone you were in, and then we can get started. Let's see, we are gonna go now to our drill sounds. Let's look at our big sound cards quick. This is our first one. A N fan Ann. Good job. A M ham am. Great job. A L L ball all. Great job with those glued sounds. And we know when we tap them, we tap them with all the sounds together. Here's a tricky sound for us. This is one of our vowels. Look closely. E. Ed, eh. Great job. Now I know sometimes when two sounds together, they make their one sound. These sounds are called digraphs. Let's look at the first one. CH, chin, ch. Good job. CK, sock, k. Great job. SH, ship, sh. I love hearing your voice. Keep that up. WH whistle. Fabulous. We finish with our big sound cards. You can give yourself a pat, pat on the back, back for a job. Well done. Now we're going to do our drill sounds on our board. Let's look at our board together. Here we go. Follow my arrow. A, apple, ah. E, ed, eh. Great. I, itch, i. Oh, octopus, ah. Way to go. You, up, ah. Uh. Yes, great job. All right, friends. I want to think about that other letter. There is a letter that sometimes makes two sounds. S snakes, S bugs. What's that letter? It's S. Great to go. Hmm, let's do some digraphs together. W H whistle. C H chin. Ch. S H ship. Sh. T H thumb. Th. CK sock. Hmm, what's the buddy letters? Right, if you said Q U, you're correct. Let's do it together. Q U queen. Qu. Let's look at the bonus letters. What's a bonus letter? Which ones? You said F L S. Let's start with the first one. F fun. L, lamp, oh. S, snakes. Way to go. We are moving on, Unicorn Squad, to our vowel extensions. Let's look at our vowel extensions together. Are you guys ready? Let's look at the first vowel. Take your finger and follow along with me on the screen. A, 
a apple a e a ed e i e itch e o a uh, octopus a uh, you a uh, up a uh. If vowel sounds are your goal, remember to use your goal setting card or your bookmark that was inside your baggie to help you read words with the vowel. You can stretch out the vowel to make sure that you are adding the correct sound. Now we're gonna do a trick word drill. Let's look at our trick words. This first one is, what? Good job. This one is, Oh, great job. This one is, oh, you rocked it. This one is, Wurr. yes, say it again. Got it. This word is, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Go ahead and give yourselves another pat, pat on the back. Back for a job well done. We are moving on to word of the day. Looking at word of the day, Hmm. I want to talk about the pattern that we've been talking about. We've been talking about the suffix s, plural. When we add an s, sometimes that makes our nouns plural. Nouns are things. Here is a ball. When I want to add the suffix s to ball, balls, that means I have two or more. Let's read these examples of plural noun. Desk, desks. Card, cards. Pencil, pencils. Name, names. Teacher, teachers. Cup, cups. If I hear cups, what does that mean? There's more than one, you got it. But today we're gonna talk about a different suffix S. Sometimes when I add an S to a verb, it makes that verb present tense. It's telling me that it's an action happening now. Read this action word, kick. If I take that action word and add the suffix S, kicks, I know that's something that the character is doing and they're doing it now. She kicks the ball. Good job. Let's see if I can share with you my word of the day. Look at my word of the day here. Elbows up. We're going to tap it out together. Let's tap this word together. P in. Pin. I tap the base word first. Try it again. P in. Pin. Now I'm going to add the whole word with that suffix s. Pins. Hmm, if I'm thinking about pin as in a verb, I know that I'm thinking about a specific action. Huh, what do you think pins means? If you said to like stick something or push something, you are right. I can pin my paper to the wall. Here is a picture of me pinning something to the wall. I can also pin somebody up against something. If I'm happening now, I would say she pins her post-it to the wall. Now let's look at this word pins. What do we notice about this word? What do you see? What kind of pattern? Oh, I heard someone say that they saw a short vowel. So I can put a brev here that lets me know this is a short vowel. What else do you notice? What can I mark? How can I mark this word? Did you say the suffix s? You're right. What should I do? I should circle my suffix s. If it has a suffix, I know that it has a base word. You're right. Hmm, what do I do for a base word? I underline the base word. So now I see that my word pins, when it's a verb, is I'm taking and I'm sticking it to something. I also know that it has a base word. Read the base word. 
pin. Read the whole word. Pins. I also noticed that it has a short vowel. It has the vowel I, so I put a brev there. I have some more words for you guys to word solve. Let's look at this next word. Oh, here we go. Here's another word that we can tap out that has that suffix at the end. Ready? Let's go. Ol, ah, k, lock. What's the base word? Lock. What's the whole word? Locks. Oh, I know this action. I do this every day. When I come home, I lock the door. If I'm doing it now, I'm going to say, she locks the door. Okay, how can I mark this word? How can I mark up this word? I'm listening to see if you can tell me. You saw a digraph. I see it too. It's a digraph CK. I know that I underline a digraph. What else can I mark? The base word. The base word is lock. And if there's a base word, there is a suffix. What's the suffix? What do I do? I circle it. You got it. And I also see that short vowel. So let me go ahead and give it a brev. If you told me I needed a brev for a short vowel, I needed to circle the suffix, I needed to underline the base word and underline the digraph, you got it. Way to go. Let's try another new word that we can tap out together. Ready? Elbows up. Ooh, I'm looking at that first sound. I'm noticing two letters and make one sound. Let's tap it. Shh. Uh, blend the base word, shut. What's the whole word? Shuts. Hmm. I know shuts is another word for close. Look at the boy. He shuts the door. And I know that he tap happens now because he has the suffix s for that verb. Present tense. Okay, how can I mark this word? I'm hearing that I need to mark, underline the digraph. Way to go. What else can I underline? The base word. You got it. What else do I need to do? Circle that suffix. You guys are rocking out. And I put a breath over the short vowel. If you said to do that, give yourself a pat, pat on the back, back for a job. Well done. You guys are rocking out. Let's go to our next word, because I want to keep practicing. Let's see. Awesome. Ooh, here it is. This is our last word for word of the day practice. Ooh, let's put our fingers up. Get ready. Elbows up to tap. Ooh, in. We tap that base word and blend it. Win. Tap it again. Ooh, in. Win. What's the base word? Win. Way to go. What's the whole word? Wins, you got it. Let's mark this word. I know that when I see this word wins, it's talking about something that's happening in the present tense in an action. She wins the race. Let's mark it. Ready? What do I need to mark first? What do I need to mark first? Oh, if you said I need to underline the base word, you're right. What else can I mark? I gotta circle the suffix s. Way to go. Is there anything else? Short vowel. Practice that short vowel sound because that's something tricky. It is I. Way to go. We are going to rock, keep going. You guys are rocking out. We are moving on. Now, it is time for you to pull out a piece of paper or your notebook because we are going to add our word of the day in it. Take a second to get it. Ready? I'll wait. Great. You should have your notebook and let's look at the first word. Our word of the day was pins. You got it. What was the base word? Pin. What was that ending? A suffix s. Pins. What kind of word was this? Were we talking about it as a verb or a noun? It can actually be both. Right, there's like a pin if I have more than one pins. But today I was talking about the verb.
verb, right? The action verb, pins. Read my sentence. You got it. She pins up the note. Hmm. I want to see if I can mark this sentence and read it in scoops. I'm going to grab my marker so that we can do it. She pins up the note. Let's read that again in a scoop. She pins up the note. Way to go scooping with me. I'm also going to mark up the word that has the suffix s. Which word is it? Pins. Let's underline the base word, pin. Let's circle the suffix s. And just because we know vowels are important for us, we're going to also add that breath. In your notebook, I want you to add the word pins. And I want you to add the sentence, she pins up the note. Make sure that you put your scoops inside of your sentence, not inside of your sentence, let me try that again, under your sentence. Remember, we are also marking the word that has the suffix s. Do that now. You can pause my video so that you have time to do that now. Great work. Let's keep going. Moving on to the next slide. We are going to make it fun. So we're gonna do a fun activity. We are going to play the scramble game. I have a sentence. Oh my God, look at this crazy sentence. R period there, six mops. What? I need to put this sentence in order. What do I know about the first word in a sentence? If you said it has a capital letter, you're right. And I'm noticing the word there has a capital letter. So I'm gonna put it first. There, that's the beginning of unscrambling my sentence. There, what do I think of six? Let me see. There, six are mops. There, six are mops. Does that make sense? You said no, what should I do? Oh, there are six mops. Let me try that again. There are six mops. Am I done with my sentence? Oh no, I need an ending mark. Let me add my ending mark here too. What is this called? A period. Read the sentence with me. There are six mops. Okay, we unscrambled that one together. Here's a challenge for you. Let's read my scrambled sentence. R, question mark, where, shells, all, the. Take out your notebook or your paper and you are going to try and take this sentence and write it in order. You can pause the video here, I'll wait for you. Great job. If you read, said, or wrote the sentence, where are all the shells? You were right, you unscrambled that word, you made it fun. Hmm, what was the ending mark you put? A question mark. Did you see a word that had a suffix s? Yes, what was the base word? Shell. What was the whole word? Shells. Could you mark anything in that? You're right. The it has a digraph, S-H. It also has other patterns. It has a bonus ladder. You are rocking out. What else does it have? It has a suffix S. You guys are doing an amazing job. Now it is time for the last part of our lesson, which is dictation. This is when I want you to pull out your notebook. Here we go. You either are pulling out your notebook from your bag that I dropped off or 
you are making sure that you have a blank sheet of paper. I'm going to give you the sounds. There are going to be five sounds. This is the first sound. Listen carefully. Qua. Qua. Here's the second sound. Zzz. Write the letter or letters that make that sound. The third sound is, what letter or letters makes that sound? Here's the next sound. Ah. Say it. What letter or letters makes the sound ah? Here's the last sound. Ready? Ah. Ah. Write the letter or letters that makes that sound. Now we are going to write five words. Go to the next line or the next page. The first word is tells. What is it? Tells. What's the base word? Tell. Let's tap it together. T -e -o. Tell. Actually, we're going to spell it, so I'm going to make sure we don't blend it together. Try one more time. T -e -o. T -e -o. Tells. Write that word. Ready? Number two. Ships. Say it. Let's tap. The base word, sh -i -p. Sh -i -p. The whole word is ships. Write it. Next word is chins. Chins. Say it. Let's tap it. Ch in. That's the base word. Tap, tap it again. Ch in. The whole word is chins. Write it. Here's the next word. Quits. She quits the race. Quits. <laughs> Let's tap the base word. Qu it. Qu it. The whole word is quits. Write it. Here's our last word. Walls. There are four walls. Let's tap it. Qu all. All. The whole word with the, the whole word is walls. Great writing. Listen to how you're going to mark your words. Underline the base words and circle the suffixes. Some of these words have bonus letters. Make sure to make a star over the bonus letter. Some words have glued sounds. Make sure to put a box around your glued sounds. Great job! Now we have two sentences. Listen to my sentence. The sentence is, who said the kids had chips and dip? Who said the kids had chips and dip? Say it back to me.
Now you are going to write that sentence. Good job. Circle the trick words. Scoop the sentence. If you need time, pause this video to finish your sentence. Good, sentence two. Where are your tan socks? Where are your tan socks? Say it back to me, please. You got it. Write that sentence, circle the trick words, and scoop it for me. Pause this video if you need more time. Great job. We are finished with our foundations lesson. I can't wait to see what you wrote for your dictation on Thursday. If you can't come on Thursday to our office hours, please take a picture of your work and send it to me on Class Dojo so I can see the amazing dictation that you did today for words, sounds, and sentences. I can't wait to see your work. I miss you guys so much. I will see you Thursday. Bye. Have a great day.